Hi guys! Salamat sa inyong patuloy na ginagawang pagsubaybay dito sa ating discussions about tactics of rigid bodies. At ang ating magiging topic for today guys is all about equilibrium of concurrent force system. At ako ay naghanda sa inyo guys ng isang problem na kinuha ko mula sa libro ni Engineer Singer. At ganito ang problem. Ang problem nito ay problem 3-4.10 at in the problem we are required to determine the amount and direction of the smallest force P required to start the wheel over the block. So in the problem there is a uh, plane that is inclined at 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal. And on top of the plane is a wheel having a radius of 2, two feet and a weight of 2,000 pounds. It is being pulled by a force P. However, on the upper part of the plane, okay, there is a block of 6 inches that blocks the wheel. And in the problem, we are required to determine how much is the smallest P needed for this wheel to move over the block. So let us start by uh, defining the direction of the smallest P that will cause the wheel to move the block. At mas mainam na, ma-drawing ulit natin guys itong ating illustration on a larger scale so that we can have enough space for the analysis. So let's start that Okay, we imagine that we have here our plane. The plane makes an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal. Then on top of this, we have a cylinder or a wheel. Okay, and the wheel is being blocked by a block of 6 inches thickness. At the center of the wheel, acts weight having a magnitude of 2,000 pounds. It is also being pulled at this point by a force P necessary for this to move the cylinder or the wheel okay, over the block of 6 inches. The magnitude of this uh, force is equal to P. So itong ating cylinder or uh, wheel ay mayroong uh, radius equal to 2 feet. We balance siya sa 24 inches. At dahil yung uh, cylinder or yung wheel ay uh, uh, in contact with the block at this point. As the wheel will move over the block, we would expect that the block will be exerting a reaction upon the wheel directed from the point of interaction towards the center of the wheel. And so we will have here our a direction at itong direction of the action of uh, the resultant or reaction exerted by the block, be called as our reference axis. Why I call this as my reference axis? Because from here, I will be referring the direction of the force P, okay, which I will be calling it as angle theta. In the problem, you would note, it, you would note that the direction of uh, P is measured from the reference x or horizontal axis. So in order for this direction to be computed, then we try to determine how much is this theta force and then we subtract the angle that this r sub b will be making with respect to the horizontal in order for us to determine a direction of p measured from the horizontal. So sa makatwid, okay, Kung magdodrawing tayo ngayon ng line mula dito sa top ng block hanggang sa wheel, you would find that the distance from this point up to that point will also be equal to the thickness of the wheel. So this will also be equal to 6 inches. So makatwid, the distance from this point, the center of the wheel, towards this point will be the difference of 24 and that of 6. Hence, this will be equal to 18. And then, we would expect, therefore, that this line drawn from the center towards a 
this uh, line, which is perpendicular, will be making an angle with respect to the vertical equal to this angle that the plane is making with respect to the horizontal. Kaya kung itong angle ay 30, we would expect that that angle will also be equal to 30. And we will also find that there is a triangle form between this point, the point of application of the resultant or the reaction exerted by the block, the center of the wheel, and this point. So that if we will be considering this as triangle, then we can find this angle between this point and that angle, itong angle O na tinutukin natin. No? So let us define that this point be a point A. And we define this as sa point B. Sa makatwid yung angle na tinutukoy ko na pwede natin makuha dito is this angle. A or angle A O B. From the triangle, from the shaded triangle because this side is uh, already 18. And knowing that the side A O is the radius of the wheel which is equal to 2 feet or 24 inches. Therefore, in the triangle A O B, we can compute for the angle A O B using the function of the right triangle and so let us show it here so that the triangle in the triangle AOB we can solve for the angle AOB by using the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse of this angle for the angle AOB and that function is equal to cosine hence the angle AOB will be equal to r cosine of 18 divided by 24 Kaya kung isi-simplify natin ito at susubihin natin yung angle AOB, we'll be getting angle AOB equal to 41.41. Kaya itong 41.41 is actually this angle na nakikita natin. Diba? So, with that angle, kay madidefine na natin. Ano? Kasi nga, in-expect natin na itong R sabi will be passing through the center of the wheel. This reaction exerted by the block will be passing through the center of the wheel. Now, it, if it will be passing through the center of the wheel, then we would expect that the three forces okay, will be concurrent and they are in equilibrium. Hence, we will have here okay, three concurrent forces that are in equilibrium. And we can make an analysis of this kind of condition using okay, the force triangle method. So we can now solve the system of concurrent forces in equilibrium okay, using the force triangle method. Hence, okay, we can uh, uh, formulate. This can be done by having a triangle whose sides represents the magnitude of the three concurrent forces. Kaya magsimula tayong i-drawing itong uh, triangle mula dito sa four force, three forces na ito at magsimula tayo dito sa ating okay, uh, force or the weight of the wheel. The weight of the wheel is directed downward, having a magnitude of 2,000 pounds. Sa makatwid, pwede nating i-drawing dito yung 2,000 pounds having or that being directed downward. And then at the tip of this 2,000 pounds, okay, mag-drawing tayo ng pangalawang force. So consider natin na itong R sub naman ang ating i-drawing. So this R sub must be drawn at the tip of this uh, first drawn force. So this will be the direction of our R sub B. R sub B is making an angle with respect to the horizontal at tawagin natin na yung angle na yon will be equal to a beta. Ngayon, ano itong beta na ito? Kung babalikan natin yung illustration, itong beta na yan, beta na, yun, na yun ay itong angle that this R sub B will be making also with respect to the horizontal. That if we are going to draw a horizontal line through this uh, K center, then madidefine natin na yung angle beta na ito ay ito rin angle na K between R sub B and the horizontal line. This is also angle beta. And if we are going to examine further, okay, we will find the relationship between angle beta, this angle 41.41, .41, and this angle 30 because the sum of these three angles is equal to 90. Hence, we can compute for this angle beta being equal to the difference between 90, that of 30, and the 41.41. Kaya masosob natin dito yung angle beta which is equal to 18.59 degrees. So this 18.59 degrees, ito rin siya itong angle na ito na pinapakita dito.
then we can compute for this angle that r sub b is making with respect to the downward force and that will be the difference between 90 and 18.59 thus this angle will be equal to 71.41 and then to complete the force triangle then at the tip of this we try to draw the third force which is p and directed at an angle theta with respect to that of r sub b here is our r sub b then if we will be drawing that of p then our p will be directed in that direction and making an angle of theta so theta neto will also be equal to this angle theta right? so if we have theta here we have 71.41 therefore this can be computed Okay, knowing that the sum of all the angles in a triangle will be equal to 180. However, we are not concerned on this angle, but we would like to determine okay, the relationship between P and theta. Kasi ang ipinapahanap kasi sa atin dito is the magnitude of the smallest value P. And as we will examine, this value P changes as the direction also changes. So that what we will be doing therefore is to find the relationship between the angle at uh, the magnitude of P and the direction of this P as measured from the reference at this. Hence, what we will be doing is to express P in terms of the angle theta. And this can be done by applying in this triangle okay, the sine law. From the sine law, we shall be able to express P in terms of the angle theta. And how do we express the sine law? The sine law states that okay, the ratio of the side to the sine of the opposite angle is constant. Hence, we would say that P is to sine of 71.41 is proportional to the magnitude or to the ratio of the 2,000 pound force is to the sine of this angle theta. Hence, from this equation, we can, we can express, therefore, the relationship between P and that of theta. Hence, by simplifying, we can get that P is equal to 2000 sine of 71.41 multiplied by cosecant of the angle theta. So, ito ngayon yung tinatawag nating expression of P with respect to that of a theta. And what are we going to do with this? Because we wanted to determine the smallest value of P Therefore, what we should be doing is to take the derivative of this P with respect to this angle theta. Then after we have taken the derivative, kunin natin o iset natin itong derivative equal to zero. And then from there, makakakuha tayo ng value of theta, which when substituted to this equation, will give us the smallest value of P. Now, what shall we do next? Now, if we're going to okay, differentiate P with respect to theta, then let's go back to Okay, this formula, okay, the relation of P expressed in terms of cosine theta, cos, uh, in terms of theta, that the derivative of P with respect to theta will be this constant, okay, that is 2000 multiplied by sine of 71.41 multiplied by the derivative of, okay, with respect to theta of cos second of theta. But what is the derivative of cos second of theta? Knowing that the derivative of cos second of theta is equal to negative cos second theta cotangent theta, therefore, if that would be substituted in the equation, then our equation becomes the derivative of P with respect to theta will be the constant of 2000 sine of 71.41 multiplied by the quantity cosecant of theta, cotangent of theta. That if we will be setting now the derivative equal to zero, okay, then equation becomes, will reduce to, because if this will be zero, okay, zero divided by this constant will remain zero. 0 divided by the negative will remain 0. Hence, the equation will become equal to 0 being equal to okay, sine of 2,000 uh, sine of 71.41 multiplied by negative cosecant equal. I have said everything. Okay, when uh, 0 is divided by this constant, including the negative, will remain 0. Hence, our equation becomes 0 equal to 1 over sine being equal to the cosecant. And cotangent is actually the ratio of cosine over sine. And again, if we will cross multiply, k0 multiplied by sine of theta, multiplied by sine of theta will remain 0. Hence, what will remain in the equation is 
k0 being equal to cosine of theta. Now, if we will be solving for theta, theta therefore will be equal to 90 degrees. Okay, from this uh, k answer or uh, k result, we can make therefore a generalization. Take note that k theta here is the angle that this p is making with respect to the reference axis. At kung titina natin, ano ba itong reference axis na tinutukoy natin? Ito yung axis that joins k the axis of rotation or where the force will rotate and the point where the force is applied. Hence, okay, sabi dito, okay, when theta is 90 degrees, P will be minimum. Hence, we can make therefore a generalization so that later on, if we will be encountering the same problem again, hindi na natin kinakailangan ulitin pa itong ganaring klase ng solution because we already have made a generalization. What general, generalization can we formulate? We can therefore formulate that okay, the value of P required to move the wheel over the block is minimum when P is perpendicular to the line joining the axis of rotation and the point where P is acting. Take note that this theta is 90 degrees okay, with respect to this reference axis which is the line joining this point and that point. And when that theta is 90 degrees, P is now perpendicular. Ba? Perpendicular. So after we have computed for that magnitude of theta which is 90 degrees, okay, the question is how much therefore is okay, the value of our P? Now if theta which is 90 degrees will be substituted here, therefore we can find for the minimum value of P which is equal to 2000 sine of 71.41 cos second of 90 degrees and that gives us a value of 1895.6 pounds which is directed okay, at a 90 degrees with respect to this reference axis or if we will be subtracting beta which is equal to 18 point uh, something, 18.9, ano? therefore we can find for okay, the value of uh, the direction of P with respect to the horizontal which is equal to 71.41 with the horizontal. And so that's how guys we can uh, solve the problem and I hope that with the okay, solution that I have presented okay, to you help you understand the techniques or the solutions in dealing with concurrent forces in equilibrium. Once again guys, thank you very much for watching.